Swedish climate activist Greta Thunberg on Friday said that she was marking her last school strike as she was graduating high school but said that she would continue partaking in weekly protests. In a tweet, Thunberg said, Today I graduate from school, which means I'll no longer be able to school strike for the climate. This is then the last school strike for me. Greta Thunberg was only 15 when she began her school strike for climate in front of the Sweden parliament in Stockholm. Thunberg, who spearheaded the Global Fridays for Fortune movement, also said that she didn't plan to give up protests completely. Philippine troops, police and rescue workers began forcibly evacuating residents near the Mayon volcano on Friday as its increasing unrest indicates a volcanic eruption of one of the country's most active volcanoes is possible within weeks or days. The area within the 6km radius of the volcano is supposed to be off-limits due to the possible volcanic emissions, lava flow, rock falls and other hazards. An unfortunate incident of stabbing took place in France on Thursday. The incident happened in a park in Acne in France's southeast. What makes this incident even more horrifying is the fact that four of the victims of the attack were preschoolers. The children were between the ages of one and three years. According to a report by the BBC, the condition of the injured children is now stable and they are receiving treatment at the hospital. According to local police, the attacker was a Syrian who was in his early 30s and he was granted refuge in Sweden. Smoke from the Canadian wildfires shrouded U.S. cities in a haze on Thursday, delaying flights and disrupting outdoor events in what U.S. President Joe Biden remarked as a stark reminder of climate change. Thick skies and an erratic campfire smell hung over the capital, Washington, with parts of the mid-Atlantic region reaching Code Maroon, the highest category of the Air Quality Index. More than 111 million people in the United States are living under the air quality alert due to the fires, the Environmental Protective Agencies said on Thursday. <laughs> 